Hello Scorpio, this is Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly love reading. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. I received some new cards, I ordered some new cards and I'm using them for you Scorpio for the first time. They're called The Universe Has Your Back and the title alone is what intrigued me and had me interested. So let's see what your overall energy is this week. Thank you, thank you for all of your love and support too, guys. You guys have me rolling with the comments that you leave. All right, God, let's see what we have for Scorpio. I am, sp I am a spirit having a human experience and I'm here to get closer to love. That Scorpio, oh, I don't know if you can see that or if the glare of the light I'm trying to adjust. Okay, you guys are going to have to take my word for it. I want to pull three, too. Two other cards. I am a spirit having a human experience, and I'm here to get closer to love. Yes, Lord. Obstacles are detours in the right direction. Obstacles are detours in the right direction direction if that message ain't on time i don't know what is okay i guess they're gonna slide down so let's just do that one more so for anybody experience any kind of rejection or being passed up or feeling like you don't matter or you know things are not going your way those things are happening for uh, a specific purpose because Whatever those situations are, Scorpio, you just don't need to be bothered or involved. I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. Nice. I know that one's for me personally because almost every given day I'm, I have my head open and reaching out to God, angels, and universe for guidance and, and uh, information. So now let's get into your tarot, my loves, and see what's going on in love and life. Ooh, I got to clear my solar plexus. God, angels, universe, what do you have in store for beautiful Scorpio? You want me to take that one? I say no. That's the death card, Scorpio card. If it's meant to come out, it's going to come out. Okay, we got the four of pentacles. Uh, three of pentacles. Okay. Mm -mm. No, sir, no ma'am. Mm, ten of cups. Three of cups. Page of cups. <laughs> world, world card. Let me just cut the deck and just go on with my life. We have the page of pentacle page of our wands there. Okay. You know what this says to me? You know what this says to me, Scorpio? This says that whatever it is that you're going through right now that has you a little tight, right? A little closed off, a little locked up. You may not feel like talking to anybody. You may not feel like dealing with anybody. Um, you're protecting your heart, protecting your energy, watching your money, saving your money, saving your energy, whatever it is. Um, that's what that all, ladies and gentlemen, is about to change. And look at that, the page of pentacles. So you now have three, pe three pages on this board. So that says to me communication, right? Communication about love, a new beginning, and some money, honey. Yes, universe. Clarity, Ace of Swords, about mm, Page of Wands again. Three of Cups on a Three of Cups, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Look at that. Scorpio, are we in for like another fabuloso reading? All right, let me... Take my deep breath and see what we got here. Angels are saying to me that these two cards here are almost like um, 
money was blocked, right? So some of you may have gone out for a job and you didn't get the job. You were kind of um, closed out or blocked from moving forward. But of course that block was for your protection and the position was just not right for you, right? Because when something is right, the universe just sends it on through. Um, speaking of sending, sending it on through, you're going to hear about another opportunity to make money. Okay. Now at the beginning of the reading, I always say love reading, tarot reading, whatever, but you guys know, whatever angels want to talk about, Alex gives them the free will to talk whatever they want to talk about. So at the beginning of this reading, ladies and gentlemen, we talking about money, honey. Okay. We're talking about work. We're talking about career. We're talking about business venture. If you were trying to go and get a car and you were denied for the loan, it's only because something better is coming along. Okay. Not only that, but what I'm also getting for you too, Scorpio is go ahead and deal with the emotions, manage the emotions, work through them because something better is coming. So rem remember and make sure you don't remain closed. Okay. Rejection doesn't feel good. Okay. So go ahead and deal and work out those emotions. And then let's get back into the, get, let's get back into this. Let's get back into the fight. This is work teamwork, right? And I do kind of feel like clarity is coming. So for a lot of you who may not know why you're a passed over, or a lot of you may not, you know, kind of understand why something didn't happen. Um, God, angels and universe are wanting me to provide you with that clarity and just basically saying it wasn't the best fit. Okay. Not only that, but what I'm also getting is for a lot of you, if for some reason that position came through or you got that particular job, you would have been miserable as fuck. Okay. Right. Look, we got the nine of wands sitting here. Okay. You're already kind of quote unquote tired, burnt out, waiting for something good to happen. And I just kind of feel like maybe for a lot of you guys, you put all of your eggs in this particular one basket and it didn't work out. And you kind of had to pull all of your eggs out. Like the basket is bullshit, but rest assured money is coming. Okay. Sorry to spend a lot of time on that, but I feel like for some of you guys, you need to hear that. Okay. Now let's start talking about this, this, um, page of pentacles, right? This page of pentacles. First of all, we had to clear away. I also kind of feel like for a lot of you guys, there could have been karma related to this quote unquote rejection. Well, we first had to clear that out. We first had to get rid of that because we're sending the next one in like strapped to a bull, right? The next position, the next job, the next interview is the one. So it was almost like we had to clear away some old dust, some old dirty past issues. We had to move that to the side. <laughs> we, I'm sorry. I just got another message. We had to move that shit to the side. We had to pay out those karmic debts. Cause what? Cause what Scorpio? The, the position that's going to make you the happiest, right? Those are 10 cups, honey, that emotionally fulfills you, makes you happy, makes you feel, um, not that you need to feel anything, but makes you feel good about your job. You know, Scorpio's work ethic is like amazing, right? So I just kind of feel like the better position, the position that's actually going to satisfy you that you're going to feel good about is on its way is on its way, honey. Cause those pages, pages are messengers. You have uno, dos, tres, and cuatro. Okay. You have four pages. I know the page of wands is here twice, but shit is still a page, right? So you have news and information coming to you, Scorpio. Again, I'm beating a dead and buried horse. Leave yourself open to receive this news and information. Okay. I really do feel like I want to say again to you guys, whatever it is, this rejection that it, it that you were experiencing, that's because whatever that energy pocket that you were dealing with was not healthy for you. Okay. Trust Alex, everybody. Okay. Now, if you don't trust Alex and look at these cards, you got the three of cups twice. Y'all know this is my Holy Trinity card. You got it twice, ladies and, and ladies and gentlemen, dos. This is a bilingual reading today. Okay. You got it twice, which means that happiness, joy, mind, body, spirit, honey, the universe is coming in 
twofold. So that one job that was $30 an hour, that might've been the most money you've ever made in your whole entire life. The next job that's coming through, honey, is $60 an hour or $40 an hour or $50 an hour. Okay, Scorpio, we know, right, that when we are hurt, we tend to die, right? And die metaphorically as in go down into the dungeon and into the pits and into the darkness and we stay there. Scorpio, I apologize. Horse is dead and buried. Weeds are starting to grow. Leave yourselves open. Remain open. Do not shut down. Okay? Now, the other thing, here's how this reading shifts a little bit, right? Because in the beginning, we're talking about work. We're talking about lifestyle. We're, we're talking about Scorpio, Scorpio career and employment, right? Now, as a part of the happiness, mind, body, spirit, Scorpio, let's start talking emotionally, right? This is the first card. I am a spirit having a human experience. I'm here to get closer to love. Scorpio, let's get you closer and closer to love, okay? Because you got... Here's why it's important, again, to, to remain open as well, because you got love messages coming in too, right? You got love messages, new love coming in, and yeah, you're burnt out, you're a little beat up, you're a little, you know, tired, you're a little sad, you know, you want to take a knee, go ahead and take your knee, but remember, remain open and be open enough to receive this love message because it's coming in quick, fast, and in a hurry, Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. This this just kind of confirms that too because you have the King of Pentacles there. Again, <laughs> you have the King of Pentacles there and I'm laughing because I'm holding the only major arcana in this reading. Scorpios, y'all know how powerful you are and if you have not seen previous readings, go back to previous readings because the whole table was always decorated and covered in major arcanas. Today, Y'all got Uno, <laughs> right? Y'all got one major arcana, and this is a major arcana of the major arcanas. This is a world card. This is the last card on the fool's journey. This card represents all the things he's known and experienced up until this point, okay? Um, this is a card of completion. This is a card of integration. You know, excuse me. This is a card of travel. This is a card of completing out one cycle and beginning a new. You guys are transformative. So you know, once you end one cycle, you're going to begin a new cycle. You got new love messages coming in. Well, who's sending those messages? King of Pentacles. I've said this, I don't know, Scorpio. In your last couple of readings, you've always had these King of Pentacles pop out. This is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. A lot of you guys could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn or bam, here's Capricorn too, okay? So I do kind of feel like, yeah, a lot of this career stuff, you're kind of leveling out. You're gonna be happy in uh, your career. Mind, body, spirit says, okay, you're gonna be happy in love. And you in this King of Pentacles, you know, you're closing out old, you know, old garbage, old karma, old whatever, right? And you in this King of Pentacles are gonna start anew, okay? Now go ahead and say to me, well, Alex, how you know that? How you know that's a... And uh, beginning with the King of Pentacles versus an ending with a King of Pentacles. And I'll simply say to you, look at these two cards here. That page of wands is a new beginning. That page of wands is new passion, honey. That, came, that page of wands are messages of newness and new beginnings. Sorry, squeaky chair. Um, the uh, page of wands is a message of new beginnings, new energy, new path, new direction. They're messages saying, okay, Scorpio, we got rid of that old karma, old baggage. We got a new starting. Again, uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Four pentacles. The only pentacle, excuse me, four pages. The only page not here is a page of swords. He could, he can keep his ass on to the side because he's the nosy one, right? So you have like this new beginning, this, this, I wouldn't necessarily call it a new beginning per se. It feels like an ignition, an igniting, an initiation of love, of passion with somebody that you will connect to if you don't already know this person or if you're already dealing with somebody, this is strengthening that connection. It's almost like you are approaching this connection with new energy, new life, um, new zest, right? Um, what are we doing here? 
angels say go back to the car. Yeah, obstacles are detours in the right direction. So again, that I'm not going to beat that horse no more. Poor horse. Um, I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. Not a whole lot of spiritual messages here, but I do feel like Scorpio, definitely when you are balanced, mind, body, spirit, everybody's good. Everybody's check, check, check. Um, everything, your love just fl flows smoother. You know, everything kind of goes a lot better. I mean, in anybody's life, it doesn't necessarily have to be Scorpio, but you know, when we're happy on all levels, happy things just happen. And I'm also being told to tell you too, definitely with the uh, world card here, especially with the two, three of cups, it's almost like your world is about to start to get really freaking good. Not only that, but this King of Pentacles, whomever he is, whatever sign he is, um, this person is here to stay. The King of Pentacles is the most stable King in the whole tarot. Okay. He's, you see him sitting down, he chilling, he ain't going nowhere. He's honest. He's trustworthy. He's secure. He got money. He got power. He, you know, Kings in the tarot, uh, dictate direction where we're going. Okay. Um, now if the four of wands comes out and I just said, if the four of wands comes out and it was the first card I shuffled, but if the four of wands comes out, that just means to me that again, this particular connection with this King of Pentacles, whomever that King of Pentacles represents in your life, Scorpio, that, that, um, that love is true blue 10 of cups again. Okay. So I just want to clarify, uh, some of these cards. Look at this. It popped right out. Six of wands. Yeah, this, this, whatever this, this rejection was, don't even worry about it. Don't sweat it, Scorpio. It was for your benefit. Ace of pentacles, Jesus Christ. Please play the lottery. Okay. Whoever's watching this video, if you got the lottery in your country, in your state, look, look, tried to squeeze her back in the deck. There we go. You, the king of pentacles and queen of pentacles came out in y'all reading before. Go ahead, Scorpio. Um, sweet Moses. It's weird because I don't have to put cards out. They're just falling out. Um, here with the, the Ace of Pentacles, whatever it is that you're working on is coming to you. Like, don't even stress that. It's coming to you. It's coming to you via law of attraction. Not only that, but if you had to release karma here, for some of you guys, somebody might have done something to you unjustifiably, and they kicked off good karma, the good juju, for you Scorpio here. So when it comes to a job, when it comes to a position, like I said, buying a house, buying a car, whatever it is, we had to move away this mess. So look, the opportunity can come to you crystal freaking clear. When this opportunity comes along, you're not going to question it. Not only that, but when it comes along, you're going to know what it is. You're going to know right off the bat immediately, holy shit, this is what Alex was talking about. That's what that Ace of Swords represents to me as well. Not only that, but I also kind of feel like whatever, you know, related to work and career and, you know, materialism and finances, whatever this new blessing is, you got the Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, whatever this new position is, it's going to be a high paying position. Okay, Scorpio, so just get ready. Okay, not only that, but again, you got her husband sitting right here. He just sitting there waiting for his boo-boo to bring her ass home so he can love on her and give her the business. Anyway, <laughs> there we go with this Scorpio energy. Moving along, Alex, get your shit together. <laughs> with this three, of, this three of cups twice and the knight of wands. The knight is bringing in this happiness quick, fast, and in a hurry. Yeah, the knight to an extent is like playboy, playgirl, whatever, whatever. But the knight coming in says to me that for a lot of you guys, you can get over this stuff quick. Not only that, but the knight sitting in kind of like the middle of the table says to me that all these things that I'm saying to you guys are going to come in relatively quick. I also have to mention to you guys too, right? I also have to mention to you guys too that this mind, body, spirit, um, could happen, sorry, not happen quickly. I was going to say happen quickly, but no, you guys actually may take a trip like this. You, it's King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Once she gets her job, once she gets her money right and tight and dynamite. Okay. Her and her boo-boo, she going to grab up her boo-boo. He going to be like, babe, you want to skip out for the weekend? She going to be like, let me get my shit together. 
Let me do some, let me answer this last email. Let me send this last resume. And yeah, babe, let's go, right? Because the world card also represents travel as well, okay? Not only that, but this just came to me. I don't know how this may apply, but I do kind of feel like if you guys do get away, your person may also bring in some great news and great information for you as well. Now, Scorpio, now I, it just hit me. It just hit me. Now I get what this card is and how this card applies. I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. This is all like um, synchronicity, karma, destiny, if you will, right? You absolutely are setting the tone for all of this to flow. That's why angels wanted me to spend so much time on this damn four of pentacles to make sure Scorpio, you don't lock yourself up. You don't block yourself up. You don't go into the closet and start crying about the spilt milk that done dried up and now the ants are around it. Boo boo. Just go get you some ant spray. Get her done. Okay. So Scorpio remain open, honey, because love, money, happiness, travel. You, you got the three of cups twice. So you and your partner are going to be happy. And again, all right. Wait. Again, I feel like y'all may take some sort of trip to to relax, right? Kind of take some of the pressure off. You're both burnt out. You're both tired. You're tired of dealing with people. You're dealing with work. You're dealing with the bullshit of life. So I feel like, again, you're going to take that trip to travel, um, to unwind, but then also spend a lot of time reconnecting. And again, as part of that reconnecting, building, building out your next part of your relationship could come out of that conversation as well. Jesus Christ, I'm already at 20 something minutes. Now, forgive me guys, a card went under the table, so I gotta go fish it out. The last card that went up under there like that was the King of Cups. <sighs> this one is the Lovers. I tell you, God, Angels Universe been blessing you, Scorpio, because Y'all have some of the raggediest reading sometimes, and I know y'all know because y'all are a Scorpio, okay? Because I'm a Scorpio too, and I am happy and pleased and so grateful and thankful to God that these cards are looking like they're looking. Now, of course, in true nature, there's always that one shitty card. God, I'm asking you, please, just let this last card and the card on the bottom be good. Good in the hood. <laughs> All right. what I say? <laughs> what I say? <laughs> Five of Pentacles. Oh, quick moving energy. Moving on. Yeah, you got mm -hmm, Scorpio. Look, let me push push my stuff together and get that over there. Now, with the, yeah. Oh, this rejection, right? Four of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. Even though th these things that I'm telling you, oh, everything will level out. Everything will be great. Don't be locked up. The next opportunity is coming along. You still feel hurt. You still feel rejected. For a lot of you guys, talk to your boo-boo about that, right? Talk to your boo-boo. Let your boo-boo kind of come in and be the king, you know, and, and add to, to the pentacles, you know, add to you feeling sad and rejected and abandoned and whatever, whatever. Talk to your king of pentacles about that. Okay, open up, be vulnerable. Okay, because not only that, especially with the world card sitting there, that kind of says to me, yeah, he he's been there, right? He's the King of Pentacles. He he had to get through the five uh, point in his life too. So it's almost like for some of you guys, instead of like trying to put on a brave face, go ahead and open up, right? We open with the rejection, but we're closing with being vulnerable, maybe with your King of Queen and letting them kind of come in and and dry those tears, Scorpio. Scorpio, y'all know y'all ain't good at that shit. Y'all know y'all ain't good at, sorry, um, alarm clock. But y'all know y'all ain't good at opening up and letting people in and letting them see your battle wounds and shit like that, right? But I feel like, again, this King of Pentacles is trustworthy. He's honest. He's comforting. You know, he's stable. He's secure. He's going to make you feel secure. He's going to wipe your tears away and he's going to give you a hug and a kiss and a, and, and tell you it's going to be okay. Okay? And then once you recover, Scorpio, again, once you get rid of that old shit and you let King of Pentacles come in there and, and rub you the right way, it's on like hot buttered popcorn. Okay? Because, look, I want to move that to the side. Y'all know I'm nosy as fuck. <laughs> I'll be looking at these cards. But um, once that actually happens, things start moving along. Once you guys connect and he kind of comes in and, again, 
that energy is rebuilt and you're like, you guys start planning or they give you some good news or y'all are like, okay, we're going to get married. We're going to be in a relationship. We're going to commit. We're going to go away. We're just going to look into each other's eyes the whole weekend. Whatever that is, it's going, it's Scorpio, the consciousness, you're setting all of this in motion. And here is confirmation that everything is already set in motion. So I don't give a rat's hell what happened here. You got some of the best cards of this rounds of reading, Scorpio. Okay? I don't care what happened here. Go ahead and feel it. God, angels, universe are going to bless you times five million. Because y'all know, Scorpio, y'all could have a shitty love life, but your pockets may be nice. That is one thing the universe does for Scorpio. It's like, look, y'all have some of the hardest lessons on this planet. Let me at least give you some money, right? I mean, you got some pretty significant pentacles. You got page, you got three, you got ace, you got queen, right? You have five and king. So you had to take a little dip. Uh, for, for some of you, it could, it could have been a humbling moment, right? To kind of just level you back out, get your head right. You know, you could have been feeling like a god. Then God had to step in and be like, Scorpio, yeah. You are of me, but you're not me, right? It could have been a little ego adjustment, right? But Scorpio, once you freaking adjust, the world is yours. The world is freaking yours, Scorpio. And again, guys, I'm just going to leave these cards here momentarily so you can see them. For those of you who want to take a snapshot of the cards and like I said, look them up, by all means, go on. You got the Two of Cups, you got the Lovers. You got Gemini here and you got Capricorn here. Okay, every sign, of course, is represented, represented. But when it comes to a moon placement or your, um, it could be actually any placement, Sun, Moon, uh, Rising, or Venus. Um, any of these signs could be in those four placements. So Scorpio, I love you to pieces. Hang in there, boo-boo. I'm so sorry. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, contact details are below. I love you. Bye.